Jody and Bugs here at Oregon eBikes, and chances are if you've just received a new eBike, you may have the Bosch Purion display on your eBike. It's one of Bosch's tried and true, super simple, easy to use displays, and today we're gonna walk you through it. To start, you wanna power the display on, and you've got your power button on the top side of the display. Once it's powered on, you can see your speed on the top, battery life on the bottom, and off is reading as the default setting when you turn the display on, meaning that if you pedal now, you won't have any pedal assist powering you. To get some of that fun pedal assist, you'll use the plus and the minus to toggle between the different levels of assist. On the Purion, you have Eco Mode, which is your least powerful, most efficient, Tour Mode, EMTB mode on certain Bosch motors, which is sort of like an automatic transmission, bumping from tour mode up to turbo mode. Turbo on the other end of the spectrum is your most powerful, least efficient. Oftentimes folks will ask how many miles they might expect on a given charge with their Bosch bike. There's a handy feature on the Purion display that allows you to see an estimated range based on what level of assist you're in. To get to that, and to the other info screens like the odometer and the trip odometer, you'll do a long hold on the minus button, taking you through the trip odometer, total odometer, and that handy range screen. The range screen will tell you based on your battery life existing and also based on the last mile and a half that was ridden, what you can expect with a grain of salt for the remaining miles um, in that given level of assist. You can see with this 625 watt hour battery in turbo, we've got 32 miles. And if I ratchet it down to eco, that's gonna bump up to 66 miles. If you find yourself at a steep hill or somewhere where you just wanna get off and walk for a bit, but don't want to lug the heavy bike all by yourself, the Bosch has a great feature called the walk assist. To initiate the walk assist, you do have to be in a level of assist outside of that off setting. So you can ratchet it up even just to eco mode. And on the bottom side, on the other end of the display, you can read that it says walk. So that is your walk assist function. In order to engage the walk assist, you'll have to press that. And before this walk plus goes away, like it just did, you will hold down the plus button. So you'll press the walk assist and the plus button and you're off to the races. <laughs> it's really powerful. You will need to fully hold that plus button down until you want the walk assist to disengage. And then you just let off the plus. So one pro tip, as Jody pointed out with the walk assist, it's a constant engagement of the motor. It doesn't matter what mode you're in, as long as you're in A mode, your walk assist will work, but it does matter what gear you're in. So if I'm in my super easy gear, cause I, get, I couldn't make it up a climb or something, when you engage that walk assist, it's gonna go at that easy gear pace. If I've just got done with the descent and I'm way down here or something, the wheel's gonna go a lot faster cause I'm in a higher gear. So keep in mind when you're using the walk assist, if it doesn't feel like it's working, check your gear to see what gear you're in. If it's going way too fast, use your shifter and move the gear up. As you're logging your many new miles on your e-bike, you may want to reset your trip odometer to keep track of those longer rides. To do that, you would access the info screens the same way we did for the range. A long hold of the minus button gets you to that trip odometer first. To reset it after your ride, you're gonna do a long hold on the plus and minus button together, and that'll take it back to zero once you've logged all those miles. So as we're scrolling through our data fields, if you held the minus and maybe you're on your range or your total miles and things go wild, you may have put it in kilometers instead of miles per hour. So to change back and forth, you hold the minus and tap your power button to go between kilometers or miles an hour. If your e-bike has integrated lights, it's a super easy on and off right from your Purion display. All you'll do is a long hold of that plus button you'll see the light emblem on the bottom left of the Purion display right there. And when you want to turn them off, a long hold again turns them right off. 
there you have it folks, the Bosch Perion display. It's small, but it's mighty. And as you're familiarizing yourself, please reach out in the comments with questions, like, and subscribe today for more tech tips like this. And ride happy. <laughs> it says it right there.